having a look here at Muhammad on that open stance, this is not an easy shot, but he makes it look so easy and he just resets the rally back in his favor and he squeezes a really loose ball out of his opponent. So he's been whipped across the court and here's that open stance. So, you know, it's a lot quicker to move across the court. A little side shuffle puts that foot behind. I'm a big fan of that, by the way. I, I talk a lot about this cross under effect where the back foot crosses under. And he goes in and he throws that left foot out. It's easy access. It's easy access to the ball. It's the closest foot. But there's some real strength and real quality there. So take a look at those that quality lunge. Both legs roughly at about 90 degrees. Good reach for the ball. You know, the racket head is nice and upright and is actually slightly above the wrist, which is a really key element there. And this position there, if you could just take a mental snapshot of that, that'll do you a lot of favors if you're trying to play the shot. So he goes in there, has to take it from slightly behind him. So he has to have that really, like a lot of wrist and a lot of forearm, pulling around the back of the ball, keeping his racket face really open. Great balance. And just as a little side note, look at how he, he drags his back foot there, drags his back foot, and he's able to then pop back to the tee relatively easily. So have a look at that movement. So he drags and he's pushing off. Look at, look at the the spring and the coil in that left knee there so as he goes and look at that he really drags the foot and it's a loaded spring now he's pushing it out but then look at the quality of the shot he goes you know gives himself a couple of inches away from the side wall gets it on that middle line chips it into that area back of the service box nice and safe he's in a dominating position now from something that could have got a little bit ugly and he's just controlling the game from there so lots of technically really sound stuff. But when you look at it in, in real time, it looks quite easy. It looks quite an easy shot to do, but that's actually technically really, really tough and really difficult. So if you can think about a few of those coaching points, I think you'll find playing the shot becomes a little bit easier. It's no easy shot by any stretch of the imagination, but some of those little technical coaching points and where he places the ball, all of a sudden puts him in a position he can go and control and dominate the rally from there.